Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Desiree, and today I want to show you this really cool Edwardian outfit that I bought from Historical Emporium. This video is not sponsored, <laughs> sponsored, sponsored by this Victorian vintage clothing company, but I wanted to show you my purchases nonetheless. These clothes may not be made authentically, but it will give you that perfect Edwardian time period look, which is what most cosplayers and costumers are going for. Starting off, we have our undergarments. We have the camisole, bloomers, and stockings. These stockings I bought separately from Amazon for like $13. I would hold them up with garter belts, but I lost them and I haven't found them yet, so oops. Next, we apply the bum pillow or pad. There are other pads as well called hip pads. I don't have those, unfortunately, but the website didn't have them either. The bum pads are also called bustles, if you didn't know. Then I also put on a corset. My corset is steel boned, very high quality. I purchased this from Charmian. It was originally like $150, but for some reason it was on sale like for 70-75% off so I got it for only like $55. It was quite a steal for such a high quality corset so I was pretty excited about that. This is a modern corset so it doesn't give me that exact Edwardian shape where it's quite wide at the bust and then very skinny, that S shape, very skinny in the waist. I'm working with my budget here. Now that we have the first layer done, I put on a petticoat, which is a skirt that puts volume under the main skirt that you will be showing off. Now, when we are looking at my undergarments compared to an actual woman from the Edwardian era, she would have on the S-Bend corset, bum pads, camisole, and bloomers, and those might be connected into a one piece as well. And she would also have hip pads in addition to the bustle. They would also wear a corset cover. So your corset has a very thick top edge that pokes through your outfit a lot of the time so they would wear these covers to hide that big thick seam so it wouldn't poke out of your clothing and it would look nice and seamless unfortunately historical emporium did not have that i guess i could have bought like another camisole but i didn't want to do that so i didn't have a corset cover which is fine, it doesn't look terrible. Um, if you put a vest on top of the outfit, you can barely even tell. And of course they get the petticoat as well. Now, just for some context and educational purposes, the Edwardian era is between 1901 and 1910. Next, we will apply the outfit that people are going to be seeing. We're going to start out with a blouse, also known as a shirt waist, then our Edwardian skirt, which is also called, this specific skirt is called a walking skirt. It is normally flatter in the front and then gathered in the back. For accessories, I have a flat belt and a vest. The belt is accurate in look. But the vest is modern. I thrifted this vest, actually. I needed to give my wallet a rest since the vests were like another 40 or $50 and I didn't want to spend that. So I actually just went to Goodwill and bought a vest there. Now, you wouldn't wear these accessories together. You will wear them on different occasions separately. I decided to try them both on 
to show you guys the difference in looks. If I was going out, um, I would have a tailored coat to go on top of everything, but I did not purchase one of those. Here are some outfit examples that women wore in the Edwardian era, just to give you some context of the difference between my outfit and their outfits. If you really want to show off some Edwardian bling, you should add a brooch and some gloves. These I got from a Victorian-inspired candy shop. Don't worry, the ivory is fake, but it gives off that illusion that you are wearing something from the time period. They were fairly cheap. I think the brooch was like 10 bucks and the gloves are probably around the same price. I don't know how accurate fingerless gloves are in the Edwardian era, but I'm sure there was a rebel out there somewhere. era is so cool honestly right after the victorian era and just before the majestic 1920s it's got to be my favorite time period to dress up in besides the 1860s i do really like their ball gowns i have worn this outfit in public several times and i'm still trying to get used to the fact that people are always looking at me. I don't necessarily like being the center of attention. It's a learning process. I want to wear what I want to wear, and I have the right to do that, so... Potato, potato. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. I just wanted to show you some really cool stuff. I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!